Hi, I'm Vanessa Franco. And I'm Stephanie Holland. Welcome to the iGuide audio file for this week. Not a lot of exciting stuff going on. Well, I mean, but the stuff we have is very exciting. Yeah. Okay, I'm really excited about this first band. So am I. Okay, Stephanie, I've got a question for you. Yes. Tell me, do you think it'd be all right if I could just crash here tonight? Well, I'm in no shape for traveling, and I've got no place to go. Hey, it might not be that bad. If you have no idea what we're doing, I'm sorry. You need to learn about the Jim Blossoms, because Hey Jealousy, one of the best songs uh, That is one of my favorite, like, 90s songs. Oh, my God, so good. So good. Yeah. Hey, Jealousy, hey, Jealousy. We're going to be singing that for the rest of the oh day Oh, my God, now. I'm so excited. Like, they're going to play the Fox, too. I mean, like, I just think the Jim Blossoms should just live here. They're from Arizona, but they should just move here. Well, they're playing so out in Temecula at one of the Monte wineries. Monte de Oro. Okay. okay, really great. Uh, opening one of the opening bands, Master Splinter and the Shredders. That is great the name. best Isn't that name, great name ever. So, but there's actually something a little <laughs> funny about them, too. They started out as a cover band with a bunch of guys that were like in these big Temecula rock bands, guys mm -hmm. from Inverse, guys from Dark Haven, and they started playing cover songs at this place that's now defunct Barley and Hops. Now they're doing their own music, and okay. so they're actually opening. So that's, it's like their first big gig. So go Master Splinter and the Shredders. Here's your shout out. And uh, rock out to Hey so, Jealousy. So if you can't make it down to Temecula, the Gin Blossoms are coming up to the Fox. Yes, November 3rd with Tonic. Gin and Tonic! Gin and Tonic! See, that's awesome. That's going to be the headline. About. That's because awesome it's the greatest about. headline ever. Gin, Blossoms, and Tonic. Okay. Gin and Tonic. But that's not all. Speaking of the Fox, okay. we just talked about the Fox. We got sure. a Fox show this weekend mm -hmm. on Saturday. Right. Same night. If you're not going to Gin Blossoms, yeah. you could see Brian McKnight. Oh, that would be a good I like show. Brian McKnight. That's a, that's a nice date night, Brian McKnight. Because, you know, he's... All love songs. It's, it's baby making music. <laughs> Pretty much. Check back nine months from now. Yeah. <laughs> See how many kids were how many kids were conceived after the Fox show. But he's a great singer, and um, he's, well, the, there's that sad song. Remember this sad song back at one? Yeah. And like the wife dies in like the was it the plane crash or he died in the plane crash? Yeah. Somebody died in a plane crash. And it was and then awful. They, and it yeah, was awful. that was the video. Yeah. yeah. And the whole video is like him going back to one. And then, and, yeah. And there's ghosts. And I'm like, I'm sorry, you're so sad, Brian McKnight. I want you to but find happiness. he's a great singer. He, he does a lot of great love songs. You know, he does a talk show, too. Yeah, so, he does. So, you know, he's good on stage. He's good. I mean, I, I enjoy him. I enjoy his music. So, it's going to be good. That would be good. Well, time. then, okay, so we have that. Then if you, there's another Fox show, but not at the Riverside Fox. It's at the Pomona Fox. Uh, Connor Oberst on October 3rd. Connor Oberst with yeah. Jenny Lewis from uh, Troop Beverly Hills. Sure. Uh, yeah, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be interesting though if somebody shows up to the wrong Fox Theater? Like the Brian McKnight fans show up at the Pomona. That would be really funny. Well, it's different <laughs> nights. It's October third. Okay. So Connor Oberst, his thing, Bright Eyes. You know, if you like sad yeah. emo music. Funny story about Connor Ober. So he played Coachella with his the Mystic Valley Band mm -hmm. in 2009. My parents actually went to Coachella because Paul McCartney was there. And my dad got sick. This is a whole long story. But my mom gets there just in time to see Connor Ober. And he's got this ridiculous hat on. I think we've got the picture of him. Yeah. And he's got this giant hat. And my mom... Uh, later saw him in the crowd. She goes, there goes Connor in his stupid hat. It was like the funniest <laughs> thing ever. She sees him on David Letterman like two weeks later. There's Connor. He wasn't wearing the hat. So it's kind of like become this inside joke with my family that my mom, hipster mom apparently, like mocking Connor Overs. However, he's a really tremendous songwriter. And his ridiculous and his, and that was, I mean, it was, a, it was like Blossom times Debbie Gibson times five. Wow. Like, I mean, it was, it was not quite well, a song. Listen, I mean, it was it, it gets hot at Coachella, and you have to protect yourself. You do, but, like, I don't think that was helping. <laughs> um, but he's a very pale man. He's a pale man from Nebraska. Anyway, so, so those are the big so three. So what you're telling me is there'll be a lot of kids hanging around with their fingerless gloves and their No, I only think it'll be that bad. No, because it's a lot of, it's an expensive show. I mean, it's like yeah, okay. a $50 show. So these are like, All right. these are your young professional hipsters. The, e the emo kids won't yeah, be able to afford kid, the tickets. The emo kids can't afford it. They're going to cry in their bedroom. Because <laughs> the, I couldn't go see the show. I can't go see Connor. I liked him better when he was bright eyes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't oh. wait for the hate mail I'm going to get on this one. Sorry, fans. Uh, but anyway. You can address it to me. I started it. Yes, yeah, Stephanie started it. Send your hate <laughs> mail to her. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter for, like, updates all the time. Well, not all the time because I do sleep. Uh, at Vanessa Franco. Or you can follow the blog. Blog.p.com slash audio hyphen file. We'll see you next week.